Well, hi there. Welcome to the Mermaid Room 2.3. And I am looking at a 10 gallon aquarium that I have in front of a small window. Um, I painted a piece of furniture. This is sort of dining room slash on the edge of the kitchen. So I've got um, plants, obviously. <laughs> plants growing down here inside this tank. Um, went to PetSmart up in um, nearby town, closest PetSmart, and um, sort of rescued a tiny little, well, there he goes. He's taken off a tiny, the tiniest little angelfish. And I wouldn't dare put him over in the big tank. I'm trying to make sure he survives, feeding him every, every, throwing everything that he would eat, anything, just trying to see if I could fat him up and get him to grow and survive. So let's see if I can, no, not really, but he's, he's tiny, very tiny. His tank mate was dead, so <laughs> I decided I would, you know, take a chance. So in here I have bits and pieces of plants that the quarries just wouldn't leave alone. And every time I turn around I have plants floating up. I grabbed them, brought them over here, seen if I could get them to root. <clears throat> and some of the ballas, ballas, I never can say the name, growing in the back there was getting really long, probably going to have to pull it out. and. Transplant, you'll see, I've got red um, and blue shrimp in here. Oh, if I can find one, but these critters were in my paludarium, all the shrimp. So there's quite a few of them. There's some, I don't know what you call these either, these tiny little sh uh, snails, they just reproduce like rabbits. In the other tank, I, I think I have fish that eat those. They really don't survive over there. But uh, yeah, that's that's the 10 ga gallon aquarium and the, and the little angel fish that I'd like to get healthy enough to bring over to the, the 55 gallon aquarium. So let's go over there and, and see what's happening in that aquarium.